Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, and I should have done these yesterday, but yesterday I was in Palm Springs, and even though it was Monday night and I was done with all the festivities associated with the unveiling of Judy Tenuta's star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, great event, by the way, a lot of fun, everybody made good speeches, pithy and funny. Um, by Monday night, I was so tired out from, among other things, dancing with gay men everywhere, well, in groups. I wasn't close dancing with gay, never mind. Um, anyway, the point is, it wore me out. I was unable to keep my eyes open tomorrow, last night. So, now, you're getting your box office report. This is the report for the weekend of November 1st through 3rd, 2019. They all seemed like really nice gay men. Everyone that I met, literally everyone that I met was a gay man. No, I, I'm kidding, because many of them were women. Um, Let's see, there are how, one, two, three, four. There are four new movies in the top 10 this week. Box Office Mojo has changed their formatting a little bit. I know, you don't know what the old one looked like. Uh, so, here we go. Coming in at number one, Terminator Dark Fate. This is from Paramount. It made $29 million in its opening weekend, which is apparently a huge disappointment and signaling the end of the Terminator franchise at last, at long last. Unless somebody comes back in time and reinvigorates it somehow. Um, so, bad news for Schwarzenegger, but, you know, he's got all the money he needs. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, that's why he's there, isn't he? I don't know. I'm not going to say. Won't say anything about anything. Coming in at number two, Harriet from Focus Features. This is about Harriet Tubman. Uh, from the trailers, it looks like maybe uh, the dialogue is a little bit anachronistic, but probably a good movie. Uh, it only made $11 million, 11.6, but... Um, for a Harriet Tubman movie, it's probably fine. If there were Harriet Tubman and, say, an alien, you could probably do a lot better. Coming in at number nine, Motherless Brooklyn from Warner Brothers, um, about a detective afflicted with Tourette syndrome, which would have made a great Quinn Martin production in the early 70s. Um, it only made 3.5, excuse me, 3.5 million. And coming in at number 10, Arctic Dogs from Entertainment Studios Motion Pictures, uh, which uh, I don't know what their logo is, but if it isn't a generic barcode, I'll be very surprised. Um, it made 2.93, what, what the hell is that? 2.9 million dollars. So that's your top 10. All right, uh, there weren't a lot of movies on the um, out in release last week. I thought for a second maybe they had cut it off early on the chart, but no, coming in the number 77, uh, it's been out for eight weeks. The very lowest performing movie in the United States was Moonlight Sonata, Deafness in Three Movements. With a title like that, how could it fail? Uh, it's from Abramarama Pictures, and it made 41 bucks all weekend long. Uh, coming in just at number 74, which is a little... Well, actually, no, that's fine for the number 74 new failure slot. It's just there aren't that many movies out. Uh, a Faithful Man. This is from Kino Lorber, and it made $187 on one screen. Um, which just goes to show, by the way, that uh, faithlessness probably sells better. Um, also, there's a movie called Wrinkles the Clown uh, at number 73, which sounds like a, something I would definitely go and see if I had the chance. All right, well, thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. Daniel K., me, your host, a straight man, by the way, uh, is happy to have seen you, and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. I know it's a tank top. Just come on, man. Lay off.